Hello, I thought you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another 3DS and Pitch for Switch combined video. But like, yeah, it's been a little while since uh, I've done any of these, uh, since February. But this one, I think, kind of warrants it. Like, um, And that's because I'm, I'm not like the biggest River City Ransom fan, but I like the series. So I think that River City Ransom Underground would be a good fit for both platforms one because of the pixelated style would be easy to put on either of them two because i know that there are a lot of people that like the comedic side of river city ransom and it could do well on both of those platforms three it's a multiplayer beat em up and those tend to do like as far as i'm aware those tend to do pretty well on nintendo platforms i mean they don't like I got, I mean, yeah, I guess it does depend on the game, but for the most part, I've seen them do well on Nintendo platforms. So for the Switch version, obviously, you right out the box, you have multiplayer because you can turn your two uh, Joy Cons to the side and have two people playing right off the bat, no matter where you play it. And all you would really need is just additional controllers for the extra players. Hell, actually, you might actually be able to do up to seven people playing at a time because I think there are seven playable characters. If I'm if I'm wrong on that, then I'm wrong on that. But like, but I know there are a decent number of playable characters in this game. But like, I guess in hand, I guess in handheld mode or tabletop mode, you wouldn't want to have more than four people playing at a time. But if it was on like a television. And and it would scale to the television's display. Then yeah, I I could see having like maybe eight people playing all at once i mean it'd be crazy hectic but it could, i think it could be done and as far as the 3ds goes i think it would have to be limited to four player multiplayer but this is something I've, i wish again i've been preaching this with the 3ds a bit is download play like one person has a copy of the game and then they can let other people with 3ds's play and share the game with them it's a capability the 3DS has that was underutilized. Just like, like the DS did this quite a bit, but it was like the 3DS. It was like, nah, son, we ain't gonna do that. We we're not gonna we're not gonna share games with people. I mean, and obviously both versions of the game would have to have online play. But like, I wouldn't disc didn't wouldn't discard that. But I'd say for the Switch to to make the Switch version of it special, have the uh, once it's hooked up to a TV, have like eight player local co-op if you have that many people around to play. It's not a likely thing, but it would be just like a special little bonus that they can throw in there that would be fun and highly chaotic, <laughs> but also very interesting. So I, I'd be cool with that. And then 3DS version, download play for its specialty. And then I guess if you if they want to figure out what to do with the bottom screen, Use the bottom screen for like inventory and your stats, like your character's current stats, so that way you always have a real time view of it. That's it. No, nothing too serious or, or hectic or whatever. Just that I would do it that way if I was doing developing the game. But I'm not. So I can't make those decisions, but I just, these are just suggestions that I think would be good. Like I honestly personally would like these things. But since there's not a whole lot more to run the gambit on with this and the game itself is really pretty solid, I'm not going to talk your ear off. So thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, please enjoy your games. Peace out.